Nick Adam, we're down at Phillip Island and you've brought down a special guest as part of your 2020 car sales TCR Australia testing program. Yeah, so we've brought down JK Panay out of France. So um, he's had a bit of experience here in TCR Australia before. Um, and I think uh, having him out here is going to be really advantageous to us going into the season. What are some of the big things that he's been able to bring to the table today for you at the test? Uh, yeah, so I think it, it sort of even started before we got here to the test day, so he's been really good giving us a lot of setup advice um, and he's got um, some of his engineers from World TCR involved as well to, um, to lend us a hand, which has been fantastic. So uh, straight out of the box the car's been really good um, and then uh, we've been working on a bit of my driving today because he's obviously far more experienced than me in, in that field. You did the last three rounds of last year's TCR Australia series. Do you think that's going to put you in a better position leading into 2020? Yeah, definitely. That was the whole point of running the three rounds last year, just to get a bit of a taste of the cars, um, understand them a bit better. And running with MPC, we obviously um, learn a lot, and we're ready now to take that into our own privateer team. A significant addition to the team is having John Russell as your engineer. He's got a lot of experience from all around the world and here in Australia as well with uh, some supercar stuff that he's done. Nice to have him in your corner. Yeah, absolutely. I first worked with John back in 2015 when we did the uh, DVS round at Bathurst. Um, and so he was really good then and opportunity came up for us to be able to snatch him up for the year. So we were very excited and um, I think we're, we're going to work well together. J.K. Vinay, nice to have you back in Australia. Uh, you've come out to Phillip Island today. Tell us about why you're here. Well, I'm here for uh, making coaching with uh, Liam McAdam. I mean, he just bought the, the car I was racing with in, in Queensland. And uh, yeah, he just wanted to have a little bit of uh, uh, tips um, on uh, yeah, using my experience. So I'm, I'm super happy to be here helping him and uh, making sure that he's going to be a, a title uh, contender this year. He's only running a privateer entry. How do you think he's uh, going so far? And you know, can he compete with you know some of the bigger teams that are out there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, he showed uh, good potential last year already, and uh, I mean, today's also going very well. So, no, I just um, I'm just here to show him, yeah, just the tips what can make the difference uh, driving wise, and also bringing some uh, technical support, let's say, uh, helping his uh, private team. But uh, no, I'm, I think it's everything is doing right and um, we'll see in the first race. This is your very first time to Phillip Island. What's your thoughts of the circuit? Uh, it's impressive I and mean, it's beautiful. I, I mean, when you see the track like this with such a landscape, I mean, it's unreal. I never had that in my life before. And, and especially this morning with uh, I mean, blue sky and uh, it was really, really, uh, and yeah, magic. And uh, no, I mean, few, I, I made few laps. I'm uh, really impressed about the track, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So, what are your plans for the 2020 racing season internationally? Well, there's many, many possibilities, let's say. But uh, for sure, I might, uh, I might do some racing this year class. Uh, I would love to do the Battle 500, of course, and maybe the Grand Prix uh, in Melbourne. Um, and after, you know, on top of that, I'm going to have a different program, but uh, it's uh, too early to talk about it. Yeah.